Hey, let me know if this sounds familiar to you. In 2019, nutrition has never been more confusing and overcomplicated than ever. Fruit, don't eat fruit. It's got sugar, makes you fat. Fat, don't eat fat, because fat makes you fat. Protein, don't eat too much protein, makes you fat and it destroys your kidneys. Carbs, don't eat too many carbs or carbs at all. It spikes your insulin, insulin makes you fat. So basically, just don't eat. But also, if you don't eat, you'll go into starvation mode and you'll gain fat. Nutrition in 2019. <laughs> so look, here's what I've learned over the last sort of 10 odd years of doing this. I've learned that if something is usually too restrictive, you're probably not gonna to stick to it very long. And yes, while you are on that certain program, you will probably lose the weight. But as soon as you stop doing the very thing that got you into shape in the first place, you gain all the weight back, okay? If something sounds too good to be true, it usually is. So how can you, you, know, how can you take part in a, new, in a fitness regime, both training-wise and diet-wise, diet -wise, and still be happy and still be moving forward and progressing? I've learned, like I said in the last 10 years, it comes down to a few key things. The first thing is that moderation is key, okay? Moderation is key, meaning, no one ever got out of shape from missing one workout. No one ever got out of shape or gained weight permanently from having one bad meal. What usually occurs from those things, gaining weight and feeling frustrated with your body and your results, is from multiple months, even years of binge eating. And instead of just having one bad meal, you have 72 bad meals in a row. Okay, so moderation is key. You're always one meal away from simply getting back on track. So if you keep that in the back of your mind, if that if you do have a bad meal, you can simply just get back on track the very next meal, okay? If you miss a workout, it's okay. No one ever got in shape from one workout anyways. So get back on the very next time you can get to the gym, whether that's tomorrow or the day after. The second thing, progress takes time. Results take time, okay? And if anything, I've always found that sometimes when you take two steps forward, eventually you end up taking one step back. You might hit that plateau. You might gain a little bit of weight. But I've always found that when people have taken that step back, if they don't quit, if they don't quit, Nine times out of 10, they are able to regain their composure and then take another two or three steps forward once again. So as long as you're always taking two steps forward and maybe one step back, you are still progressing, you are still moving forward. But ex expect the one step back to actually happen. If you think you're gonna be a good little bunny 24 seven and never ever gonna slip up on your training or your diet ever again, you're setting yourself up for failure, mentally as well, okay? So moderation is key. Progress takes time. Expect to take a step back every now and then. But if you don't quit when you take that step back, I can guarantee you those two steps are just right around the corner provided you stick, you stick tight and tough and you will progress through it. So look, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Look, I've actually got a book. It's called The Fat Loss Cheat Sheet. If you'd like to learn the five systems you need to turn your body into a fat burning machine, I'd like to give you a free copy as a way of saying thank you for watching this video. What I'll do is I'll leave a link in the comment section on this video. Click that link, it'll take you to a website and you can download a free copy on the house. Apart from that, thank you for watching. Hope you're having a great day and I'll talk to you soon.